welcome along to this video. This is going to be an introduction to my shells video, which I've built in my studio slash garage the other day. Uh, this mirrors, it's a smaller version of what I've got upstairs for my Blu-rays. The one upstairs is eight foot by nine foot. The one in the, the studio is four foot by four foot. It just shows you these, sh these shells are very versatile, which I'll talk about more on the, the end of the video. This is just a bit to introdu introduce you to the fact that this video is um, being taken part over a couple of days. In essence, if I'd had the space to work, I probably could have done these shelves in one day. The shelves upstairs would have probably taken a few more days. The, the one that takes the most is to put the stuff on the shelves and to put it in a, in a alphabetical order, which is what I need to do because I've got OCD, like I imagine most of you have. Now in there, I've, underneath the stairs, I've got my um, the rest of my um, vinyl, which I'm going to take out now and I'm going to put in on the shelves. So the shelves are going to be full of all the stuff nearly. I'll get into that a little bit later on, probably at the end of the video. And also the introduction is just going to show you as well that there is an unboxing at the end of this video. So I've got a good idea what's in here and I want to obviously in, involve it in this video but for a reason which will become apparent if it is the one that I'm thinking of. Hopefully it is. So yes, we've got an unboxing to look forward to. And also, excuse me, the, in essence, this shelf, which I'll talk about more at the end of the video, this shelf, this shelving system is one that you can navigate to any sort of area that you want. I mean, I've got an alcove there. You see my TV is primed up with YouTube and next to watch is the uh, movie worms latest video which if you don't know who movie worm is where you've been and also subscribe to this channel so yeah it's always got youtube on there but if there's an alcove there i could put it in the alcove if i wanted to i don't think i will be able to because my wife would leave us if i did put another shelf up somewhere but anyway these shelves are all out of the way if you've got a little bit of area even in the porch you could probably put some in there you wouldn't really put in the porch but what I'm saying is, in essence, these shelves are so, you can put them anywhere you want. Sometimes when you buy a shelf, um, you can't actually fit it in, you know, and you've, and you've got to really, sometimes you're looking for a shelf for ages because the, di the dimensions of it just won't fit anywhere. But these shelves will fit anything you've got. The area I had in there just happened to be four foot by four foot. So I made sure that the shelves fit every single uh, inch of that uh, project. So I knew that I got my maximum uh, holding capacity in there. I can't fit any more in, but I've got everything that I've got in my audio collection is going to fit into these shelves. And I don't think I'll ever outgrow them because I don't buy much vinyl anymore, if any. And uh, although I used to buy tons of vinyl and uh, also CDs. I do buy CDs from time to time. I do quite like them. Uh, but I like the fact, I like to keep them. I don't think you get nothing for them. You don't why would you even get rid of them uh they're quite a bit of a time capsule as well they're a bit like a sort of the vhs of uh, audio anyway so there you go so i'm going to hand you over to myself a couple of days ago and i'm going to the hat is is present because it was freezing in the garage and uh sorry studio and so take it away from a couple of days ago john so i fitted them on the wall now there's your brackets You've got two up here and you've got two down there and that one that's all this one's going to need if it was the full size of the, the wall i'll probably put four brackets in there took one the bottom one the top and two spaced equally on the joist that's what i'm going to call this the joist so that's good so the next step is to put where is it there's one there yeah, that's it. Hard to see on this. Uh, I'll put that one in next in the same method. So that's going to be another one of these. And then this one, I'll go between them. I'll measure up the distance between them where they're going to be. Put that in the middle. And then you're going to go with putting the lats across. Obviously, I'll be doing the bottom bit first. That's, in essence, if you were doing it up, in essence, if you're going to do that in a full scale project, you'd be doing exactly the same thing. Fixing these batons onto the um, the wall and uh, if this was going to be the full wall of this we'd probably go to four batons 
but this because it's so small area three is going to be more than enough if I was going to do two one there and one there and put the button in the middle everything's a button now it'll just start doing that uh, you're putting this one here to fix the other one across it so you've got that stability to not the the, the shelves don't sag that's what I always try to avoid because that's one thing you can find on these ones this if you do the span too long you're going to get a start in a sag so that's what you want to avoid uh, and I'm getting rather hot in here although it's freezing with this thing on and doing this I'm starting to get a bit hot so I'll come back when I've done these this the next step will be to say that these are all up and I'm going to probably I might have fashioned the baseboard on it I'm only putting the baseboard on because I'm doing vinyl on here if this was an interior wall I would need to put a baseboard on I just put them straight on the floor now we've got the maximum height I just want to raise these off the ground just a little bit so they're not touching the floor in case any water gets into here god forbid oh my god right so that's when that's the next part of the project I hope this isn't going forever by the way this one's going up this is solid the only one I have got yet to do is the one in the middle and then that's going to be a three posts and then you can put your dividers in between them which should give you the finished article obviously you've got to measure everything you just use an empty cassette box or a cassette a CD case to do that now but what I've done is because I'm going to put some albums down here if you can see that yes that's it I've fashioned a plinth to go on the bottom of here which will keep the albums off the ground so there if they do get wet then they won't get wet this will get wet not them fingers crossed it'll never that drain will never air uh, flood again and that was a nightmare never mind so yes so anyway i got this plinth if you want to do it this way of course what i do split the wood there never mind um i pre-drilled every hole apart from that one and look what's happened so that's your thing about pre-drilling so that's the base underneath that slots in there so that's something that I did just because I'm putting the uh, vinyls down there if you're not putting vinyls down then there might be not even anything that you would might enter into but you might want to put something on the, the bottom of the, the shelves anyway if you're st storing it in a place that's not in the house you might need some kind of um, base for it to go on you don't really need it but it's it's an option anyway if you're doing it in like a garage like I am which I don't want anything to touch the actual floor so anyway so this is this is the plinth that I made and this slots in and you all know what a plinth is don't you it's something that marries a plintheth okay so here it goes it goes in like that so that's I would have loved to have had a bit bit of a thinner bit of MDF but anyway that's the what it is and the albums sorry about these ones that are oh god water damaged they will go in there so that's that's the way that they go and they will go all the way along the bottom and uh, but I've got to put the dividing post in which is here so this one's going to be put in that way that'll, that'll fix into there that'll hold this thing down as well not that it's going anywhere with all these um, vinyl on top of it two seconds with all the vinyls the vinyls on top so when this is done then I've now a mouth free to put start building the th putting the things in especially the albums first then when I've done the albums I will then go and do the um the start the CD shelves and I'll start putting them in so that's the next step and don't forget I was going to show you that you can put any the only thing I've found is with the depths of these the four just over four um inches if you were doing this for VHS these are too thick they would have to be a little bit thinner because the VHS would not fall down but they're not thick enough wide enough to, to uh, have these shelves that don't function well you have to come in just a little bit anyway that's a little tip for you if you're doing VHS because you can put VHS on here you can put anything on it so I'll put this on here and then I'll come back so we've got the middle one up the brace up that and what I've done is on the plinth this is where the vinyl is going I'll put the button up here that's pretty solid actually and then this is going to be this is going to get filled up with 
I'm going to say good vinyl on one side, bad vinyl on the other side, the water damaged vinyl. But there'll be some I can say about it there. It's just the covers are unfortunately they're all kaput. Oh. Anyway, uh, so the next step is I'm going to start building them up. Now what you need to do is, what you need to do your next step is for the, the shelves is, you get yourself some CDs. I've selected some Detroit Cobras, great band, and then you put them there. I haven't cut the buttons the other, for the other shelf shelves yet. I'm going to do that now. So I put them on there. You put a button on there. You put it on. You do that, and then you find out exactly how many you need for this. I'm thinking about maybe five, and then this will get all my CDs on here with probably a lot of room to spare. Um, I can change them all a little bit later if I want to put. Uh, put some Blu-rays in here. I don't think I will. Or some old DVDs. I don't think I will at this point. I think this keep this strictly for uh, audio stuff. But you never know. You can always change your mind. You can do whatever you want, really. But that's how you measure it. You just get something that you're going to use. Now, if I had some big box sets of uh, CDs and say some of them were a little bit, maybe about that high, then you would go for the biggest. But you probably put them in your top shelf because there's no end to the top shelf. You would put these ones probably and get them as, as close as you can to them. So you can get them obviously in and out. But uh, you don't want to go too close because you'll be, be arriving at them. You can't have them too loose because you lose, um, if you put them up here somewhere, you lose valuable space because you may be able to get yourself an extra shelf. In the meantime, don't make your gaps too big because you, uh, you want to cut accordingly to what your size is. Okay, so that's, like I say, these are absolutely rock solid now with the minimum screws, there's three screws in, one, two, three, cut to the size, in fact they're, they're cut to 138, uh, so right, that's all this, the, um, the lats put on, I've called these things everything haven't I, you've got your posts here, you've got your lats here, that's what I'm going to call them now, now fit them on to right away across, now what you do is, when you're going to check to see what you want to put where, uh, you just put a couple of these to mark this, this spot to make sure you're not going to go over it. And then when you put that button on, button on, you put that, then you put the other one on. And then you go up and up and up. You cut them all, the all 138 centimetres. And then you go all the way across. Now I've got the top here. I'm still going to put CDs on the top because I can't put, you see if I put something too, it's going to, I was thinking about putting maybe some, some uh, DVDs on the top, but if you were thinking about doing these for v VHS, you've got um, this one here. Is it just shows you that VHS? M maybe they could sort of get away with being on here, but I think you need a little bit more. They need to be a bit like a bit thinner, so your VHS will stand on there quite well. If you've got ones that, but then on here, you can put. DVDs, Blu-rays on, no problem, they'll go on. So if I wanted to have all of my CDs here and and uh, vinyl here, CDs, and then VHS or not VHS, DVDs on the top, then that's that's easy place to go, and it just shows you how versatile these shelves are. So anyway, I'm going to put my CDs on there now while the lights when the lights fading fast but I might have enough light in here I've got a light over there but it's not very good uh, and then I can get these all put into place so by the power of um, technology I check this out and there you have it this is the the finished article it's not particularly finished because of all the sorting out I've got to do with it but I'll just take you through the fact that everything now is on the shelves I've only got a little bit of space left there but to be honest, I don't think I'll ever fill that because I buy maybe one or two CDs a year, if that. Although I do like CDs. Um, and also the vinyl here is into two sections at the moment. I'll try and get out of the way for you. I've got the good stuff there. And I've got, unfortunately, the water damaged stuff there. But I think there'll be a few good albums in there. But I'm going to have to sort through them. But that's a job for a later date. So there you have it. In essence, you have everything there. That's, now, you might notice there's some there's some things I could have done 
on hindsight, although I'm right up, that worked out a treat. That I didn't have to miss any things out just because of the bottom of that uh, bass guitar, what you put your strap into. Um, <clears throat> on the edge there, you've got some larger ones. Now, if I'd put these shelves a bit larger to accommodate those, those would have meant that the shelves would have went into the bass guitar. So I would like to have thought that I was that clever. I could have judged that. But unfortunately, with these, you can't really judge where you're going to end up until you get there. Unless you start measuring that, and it can be a little bit... Um, little bit of a hard task to do that why make it harder if you don't have to also uh, these lats here which I've got a I've got a one here these are the lats that go across here this is an off cut and you do come in sections the the 10 millimeters 10 millimeter 10 millimeters by 20 millimeters by 2400 so they're around about seven foot long now these go along here great, I don't have to cut anything but because my shelves upstairs, oh hello, my shelves upstairs are 8 foot and 7 foot, you do have to cut them and put an extra strip on but these are, you, you want to do these no longer, have I got my tape measure, my trusty tape measure, probably not, no I have, um, so I put the lats, the posts, spaced them round about just over the two foot mark now i think if you went further than that i don't know how far that the the blu-ray sets the shelves are but they're not much further apart because as soon as you if i had put this just one span right across with um no post there these would have not these would have sagged immediately there's just too much weight on them so you've got to spread them out as much as you can if i'd went a bit further i would have put another post on another post on if i didn't have the mirror there I probably could have put another post in there but I've got nothing to put in it and plus it would be behind my drum kit which is just sat there in a bit of disarray because it needs to be put back in it in the touch uh, the mirror could have went up but anyway like I said before in the start of the video it's very easy to accommodate the space that you've got and you've ended up with something that's solid it's absolutely rock solid I think the weight of everything keeps these things in check I've got to sort out here i've also got these ones here that are sort of not really you know cd they are cds but the ones i've made myself maybe some rare recordings of bands and uh, live stuff and things like that um the only thing i might do is on the edge on the end if you can see it or if you can to protect the vinyl a little bit from not warping a bit for the weight on it i'm going to put a i'm going to cut a little bit of thinner mdf and i'm going to put it i'm going to uh, screw it to the side of that post which will make it, it'll uh, butt up against the, the vinyl and it'll keep it in, in situ. And I think I might put another spacer in here, a bit further there, if the vinyl ever gets to there, which to be honest, in honesty it won't. I don't think the vinyl will increase in any way, shape or form at this, at this point. And so funny enough, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to Jilly Rocks the Metal. And why am I gonna do that? Because guess what I found in my collection it is the extended 12 inch version of Wasp Scream Until You Like It. Now I know Julie is a big fan of Wasp and a big fan of this this uh, this song. So when I saw it, I thought of her. So Julie, this one's for you. Okay, so if anybody wants, I can go through a bit more with these, these CDs. I can, I can tell it when I get them in alphabetical order. I might do a little video of just running through them and telling you what they are. You know the, the 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 bands that I've got in there because I've got quite a diverse range. You'll be really surprised at some of the bands I've got in there. In fact, I'm really surprised by some of the stuff that's in there. Is it rare? Probably. Is it? A, does anybody ever collect CD singles anymore? CD singles seem to be a thing that's just vanished. Never mind. I'm getting away from what we're talking about. So hopefully, you can recreate whatever you want, wherever you want, and you can incorporate anything you want I just chose to put the vinyl there because I needed somewhere to house it I wanted to protect it even though the damage is done my god um, and it'll never ever deteriorate I know it's not in the best of conditions to keep it in here and um, actually I'm seeing a few cassettes up there so maybe I don't think the cassettes could fit in here you'd have to have an ex a massive collection of cassettes but if you shorten if you thin the the post down and I'm sure you could do it uh, it's up to yourselves 
whatever you want to put in there. Books, books will go in there, that's no problem. It's like a bookshelf, but it's, I think the main thing about this is for me, it's you can create it in any space and it's cheap. This whole thing cost me uh, 40 pounds from B&Q. All of the equipment, you only had to supply when the tools, drills, I used a, a drill, um, a jigsaw, and also a tenon saw. So that's it, and a screwdriver, electric screwdriver, because I'm lazy. Uh, so that's it, end of. Hopefully you like this video. I don't know how long it's gonna be because when I cobble these together, it might be an enormous video. But I really hope that you um, could, re if you wanted to, to recreate whatever you wanted to in your own house. If you're running out of spaces or you just need that extra bit of shelving that you don't know where to get it from, or you want to, you can say it's like bespoke. It's made to measure your own house. And all you've got to do is just measure the gap and set yourself away. Make sure you don't put the span too long uh, there you go also pre-drill the holes if you don't the wood will split but it doesn't take much just to put a drill bit through it no problem anyway the last thing in this huge video is going to be an unboxing and if this is what I think it is you'll understand why I'm going to give a certain shout out to a certain person if this is what I think it is and it is from eBay yep a 4k of Hellfest. Now the shout out I'm going to give is for Keith at Euphoria Pictures because he turned me on to this film. To be honest I'd never heard of it and he said he'd watched it and he said to me this is going to be one of the best 4Ks he's ever seen. Now immediately my interest was, um, in, my intrigue was up so I thought get myself to eBay I got this for, it's quite expensive on eBay but I managed to get this one for 17, 17 pounds which posted as well first class and it's in good nick there's no rattler and it is i would imagine i think the blu-ray is in region a locked which doesn't matter because i uh, have a multi-region player but obviously i'm only really interested in the 4k and he on the strength of um keith keith from euphoria pictures his recommendation i'm going to check this out and i'm really happy to have this in my collection uh, it seems right in my alley and like I say I didn't know anything about it and this is the great thing about YouTube sometimes somebody can help you out and give you a tip on something that you would just purely forget about or not even know about and so saying that I'm going to leave a link to Keith's channel down below and also I'm going to leave a li link to his latest video that he's just dropped and it is an amazing unboxing of something that as Keith always does he gets these huge collection items and to be honest sometimes I don't even know they exist and I had a really good time in this video so I'm gonna leave that down there if you haven't heard of Keith get yourself over there subscribe to him and watch that video it's really good okay so looking forward to looking at that I've got a lot of things to get through later on this is I'm filming this round about half past 11 in the morning yeah and um, I plan to go now and watch the Argento cut of Dawn of the Dead just after I've had my breakfast wow so there you go Thanks again for watching this video and uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe and uh, I'd like to have you along on other videos and if you want to know anything more about this or you want any in-depth versions of anything on the shelves and talk about anything in particular, particular I will uh, be more than happy to do it. Okay so thanks once again and you all take care.